Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can use E, also known as Euler's number or the natural antilog, on the Casio FX CG50 graphing calculator. To do this we'll use the shift key that looks like this located here, the ln or natural log key with the shift function of E to the exponent that looks like this, located here, and the negative key that looks like this, located down here. If we just want to get E or the Euler's number on its own, what we have to do is press Shift LN, and we see an E with an exponent box. Since we just want the E on its own, we can put a 1 in there and press EXE, and we see we get 2.71828, etc., which is correct. What if we want e with an exponent, like for example, e to the power of 2 plus 3? Again, to do this, we press shift and then the natural log or ln key to get the e with the exponent box. And then we enter our exponent of 2 plus 3, hit the exe or execute key. And see, we get a result of 148.413159, etc., which is correct. What if we want a negative exponent with our e? Well, again, we start with the shift ln or natural log key. And then we need to tell our calculator this is a negative exponent. So we use the negative key down here, not the subtraction key, the negative one here in brackets. There we go. And then we have a negative 2, so we hit 2 and hit exe, and we get 0 0.13533, etc., which is correct. What if we're using e as a part of a larger formula or equation? Like, for example, e to the power of 2 plus 1. Well, to do this, again, we can enter our shift ln and then our 2, which is our power. But then we need to bring our cursor down out of the exponent spot. So to do that, we use the right arrow key. There we go. Our cursor is back on the main line. And now we can go plus 1 and hit the exe. And see, we get e squared, or e to the power of 2, plus 1, is equal to 8 plus 38905, etc. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really hope this has been helpful. If it has, you can help me out by hitting that like button and subscribe for more calculator tips in the future. And, as always, good luck on those tests out there, everybody. You've got this.